Hello guys! Hello! And welcome back! For those of you who don't know us, we are Desiree and Fabio and we are currently converting this Sprinter van into a tiny home on wheels. And in today's video guys, we're going to show you the second part of how we built this beautiful partition wall with a sliding door. Yes guys, in the previous video we actually showed you how we built the structure of the partition wall and in today's video we actually first we're gonna put some battens on top of the headliner so we can actually put the fascia too and cover everything and after we're gonna show you the details and the final product of the partition wall. Yes, we're gonna show you how we're gonna make it look beautiful and I would say we just jump into the video now. Let's do it. Good morning guys, it is Saturday and Fabio has to work today so it's just going to be me and the van build for today and I'm actually on call so as soon as there is an emergency I'll have to leave too but for now I can keep on working on the van. There are a couple of parts that needs to be painted and I'm going to do that and also I would love to start with the cladding on the right side of the partition um, but I have never really used any power tool so let's see how that goes and yeah I think I'm just gonna set up everything now and hope that there's not going to be any emergency today. <laughs> well that has been way less productive than I wanted to. Of course we had an emergency call and this little bunny didn't want to eat anymore and now my shift is over so now I can at least keep on working on the van. It's already afternoon but anyway I'm gonna keep on working now. I already managed to finish the varnish on the left side of the partition wall which is going to be our toilet room one day and now I will start to use some power tools for the first time. Um, <laughs> I wish I could ask you guys for an advice, but that's not working. <laughs> so here's the cladding and it's supposed to go on there. Okay, I'm obviously doing something wrong. This is not what we want. I'm gonna keep on painting now and ask my father maybe later when he comes back if he can give me a hand and show me how you should use those tools. I'm cured. It wasn't my fault. It was the wrong blade for this thin wood. Et voilà! I cut it all those pieces. I'm super happy and super proud of myself now. And now I'm just gonna give them a really quick scent. Yeah, for everyone who's using the this kind of saw, I don't even know how it's called, I think it's a circular saw, for the first time, um, 
just this little advice. The wood needs to be upside down so you have the nice and smooth cut on the downside. And yeah, just my father told me this just right now and I had any clue of how to cut wood. And use the right blade of course. And it was working the best for me if you cut quite fast through the wood. And then it was really cutting really good. Yep. And now quicksand, maybe a coat of varnish, I'm not sure how motivated I am, but quicksand for sure. And then firearmed. Good morning guys, it's a new day and it's actually a really beautiful day today. As you saw in the previous video, Daisy was just finished to vanish the wall I got here. Another thing she was doing was also like cutting the cladding and I was so happy actually for her because it was the first time actually she was using power tools. So I'm really, really proud of her. So I'm gonna finish to attach this wall finally. To the into the battens into the partition wall we created before and also the fascia hopefully we're gonna finish this one too uh, i just finished actually to mark here you see with the pencil just where the battens are so i know perfectly and exactly where i need to screw it So guys, as you can see, we almost finished the fascia. So I just cut out the opening for the fascia where we're actually gonna put a door on top so we can actually open and close it. We had some issue when we were cutting out this corner because this screw was in the way, as you can see here. So I just sanded as much as possible. So it's gonna be actually flush also with the battens. Another thing we're gonna do now is screw down these battens here. They're gonna be holding the rails of the sliding door. And also we're gonna put another batten from here to here. Just to attach the hinges, they're gonna be able to open and close the door. We just want to give you a little update on this wall here behind us. We messed it up a little bit. Oh, actually like a, a big bit. <laughs> yeah, well, for this case, like we actually need to take it down the wall. Yes, we used the wrong varnish to prime the wall. We okay, didn't think about it. Okay, let's say it's not the wall completely. It's just the cladding yeah. that we messed oh, yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, so it's, it's just better. like a minor mistake. We need to take down the cladding again. We used an oil-based varnish and we actually can't put a lack on the oil base mm. so now we need to take it down replace it and put the new one up yes cut it redo it the process again but at least after we're gonna be sure that is the right <laughs> things to do and we are not gonna have any problem later yes we could also sand down the oil now but it's definitely gonna be much more work to sand it and prime yeah. it after again than just taking it all down and replace it Yes. And that's what we're gonna do now. So, let's do it.
it. Da -da -da. Mm. Here we go. That's <laughs> it. Three hours later, the wall is back up. And it looks so nice and so good. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we're super happy with the result. Yes. But for today, we can't stop. Yes. Now it's Feierarm. 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 <laughs> Good morning guys, it is an absolute beautiful day today. Yesterday we finally finished to put all the cladding on our partition wall. I'm going to show you guys. Fabio cut all the cladding here around the curve of the car. It looks incredible beautiful. I'm super proud of him. He did such an amazing job. And today he is going to start sanding the left side of the wall. So I can put some primer on there and I'm going to start with the wood filler I need to fill all the screws here because they are going to be visible at least on the right side here and here this one on the left side there is going to be a trim around so you're not going to see them but these ones are going to be visible so I'm going to put on some wood filler now and send it after paint it and then this door is really really close to be finished. And that's it for the prep work guys. I just finished to put all the wood filler into the screws. I sent everything down already and now I can start to paint these walls. And in the meantime... I'm actually measuring uh, the trim that we're gonna use actually to cover the corners. And I'm just gonna measure it and now I'm just gonna cut it to size. So guys, I start to treat our trims now. Mm -hmm. We are going for a really, really dark brown color. It is a palisander. Palisander? Yeah. Palisander? I don't know, but... How it's called in English. Yeah. It's a really, really dark brown. And I'm going to apply two coats, wipe it off with the tissue after I give it a quick sand, and then I'm going to put a really fast coat on top and wipe it off directly. And then we're hopefully going to get the same look as we have on our uh, head shelf door which mm -hmm. we really really love yeah we definitely love it and and i'm just attaching it to the fascia so um, i hope soon we're actually gonna be able to attach everything together it's gonna be amazing yes i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> That has been an absolutely super productive day today. We are so happy with everything, how it turned out now. And tomorrow or one of those next days, we are going to finally attach our sliding door. And I think that's it, what we can do on our partition wall for now. And then we can start to work on another project, maybe the bed or the kitchen. We don't know yet, we haven't decided, but we are super, super, super stoked about our partition wall. Hello guys, it's afternoon and we are just about to figure out our rail system here for our sliding door 
it's a little bit complicated because of course you want the door to stop exactly in the opening and we use the covered rail system and now we need to try a few different things if it's gonna work out or not yeah. and that's what we're doing right now so guys now I'm just gonna start to pre drill a hole that we're gonna use for attach the wheels here and before we attach actually the wheels we're gonna put this fissure this plastic cap and the nut the bolt that we're gonna use inside the wheel is gonna go into the fissure so now I'm just gonna pre drill the hole over here and hopefully it's gonna fit this guy inside So guys, check this out. Da -da. Da -da. And if you can't tell from my tears, <laughs> I'm so happy and so proud of this. Yes, oh baby. Yeah, we are so, so, so happy. Like, feels we accomplished a lot. Yeah. Also putting like a rail in the door, <laughs> it's minor things, but <laughs> looks like we already finished the van kind of. <laughs> and it looks good. We yeah. didn't we didn't put any stoppers yet because we're not gonna um, install completely the door right now because I'm actually using it for work. Yeah. And also we need to still do some finishing touches. Like we're gonna put this this trim here. We already um, pre-made that, and we're gonna. Put this one on but i think all the other um big finishing touches we're gonna really do at the end of the build because we're gonna walk in and out here like i'm gonna put a final coat on of color on the walls and probably also the door and yeah there are still a lot of finishing touches we need to do that we're really gonna do at the end of the build for now i think this partition wall is done yes for now yes we can uh, say that it's yeah. finished it's completed yeah and like works really good yes. works really really good for now we can just say that we are happy and that's it now fire ham no fire no, baby fire ham. so guys that's it for this week's video we hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about our build or just want to say hello to us please leave a comment down below and if you guys want to keep following us and just see the process of Chester, just subscribe. And if you do, we're going to see you next week. Bye. Bye. So in the previous video, Holding now, so I get to go. Not sure. Okay.